So let's start planting these. Well, it's good to know that I have like two resin spots nearby. And I did mark the locations of caves with useful resources. Like both of those have sulfur over there. And you're still grinding away. Is this still growing? Yeah. Still at 7 out of 9. I'm just gonna put this here. This is the Molly Bado Chacos. Molly Bado Chacos. Molly Bado Chacos. Molly Bado Chacos. That's why I call it the lead alloy. It's because it's just so hard to pronounce that. Someone's in, in the comments is gonna tell me how to pronounce it correctly, of course. That should be good for the time being. Like, if I get cold again, then I'll do another batch. But this should be it for now. Alright, let's put this away. And there we go. Wait, I need my... Chisel. Okay, so... What were we doing again? I'll bring back these boards. Like, I'm already forgetting the recipe of what we were doing. Uh, it was a wooden toggle, right? Yeah, it was a wooden toggle. So we need four of these. The chisel, we need the hammer here, and... Four, one, two, three, four. We need axle here and our last fat or the wooden toggle. Uh, I probably should get on like making more tools. Ow. And then put the... Come on. Put it like that. Uh, maybe the other way? And then 
the hell of hammer would like go here or something here or here okay so last thing i'll do uh Gonna put our sticks here. That's a chisel. Okay, five sets of windmill sails. Actually, we do need one more set. Or actually. I'm not 100% sure anymore, so I'll just leave it like that. We'll just, uh, hold off. Like, I'm pretty sure that's four sets of windmill sails right at this very moment, but I'm unsure of that. And I don't want to be wasting the little linen that I have. I'm not sure. Okay, let's add the sails. Three, four, five. There we go. And then once our flower is done there, we'll probably should check. It's, yeah, it's done. Okay. Now to dismantle everything without an axe. Yeah, it's four sails, so we'll make another set to make it five. Go ahead and dismantle this without an axe. Like, I could probably use the copper axe that I have in the basement. Don't feel like using it. Even though it'll probably make things a lot easier than doing this. I'm just going to hold off until I get an iron axe. They shouldn't have anything else that needs to be grounded up, so... There we go. We'll just store the flour. I really need to get on those ovens, but I'm trying to work on the hell hammer first. And anyway, we're putting the gear here. more fruit. Careful now. There we go. Alright, so this health hammer is going to have a lot of power to it. Basically, similar amount of power to the one I had in the previous playthrough in 1.16. Actually, I think it'll be a little bit stronger because I made this a little bit taller. Yeah, so now all that's left is to make the health hammer. And I do have a lot of iron blooms, so... Oops. Now 
Now, I need to produce enough iron ingots to build the iron anvil. It's all cold. is like this now. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna put this away because I don't want it mixing with this hot thing here. Oh, and I also need tongs. Also, I have to watch out for the durability on this hammer here. Like, this is the only hammer I have left. So, if I lose this without making another hammer, then I'm going to have to make like a copper hammer again. Okay, let's split this up. I might as well use that extra heat to Eat up another one. this down and push these down oops all right split these up then we'll have these two ingots We'll make our health hammer. Health hammer head right there. Or wait. This and then this. There we go. And split off this corner here. There we go. And there's our health hammer. It's in the wrong direction. Hmm. 
wonder if I could... You know what? Just... Let's just move this. Alright, we got a health hammer up and running. I do need more forges though. But look how fast that's going. Like... Look at it and listen to it. That's a lot of power. Now I need grains. Yeah, there we go. And then protein and vegetables, that's what I need. My lantern is here. Oh. Uh, we can put away this stuff now. Since we don't really need it anymore. The quern. Like, we'll just put that there and then... Put the axles here. Just work on this for a while. Yeah, you know, while that's working, how about I do some clay forming? Like I said before, I do need to get the ovens up and running. So, oh, and forges. I before I forget, put the forges down. Just a couple more. Oh, come on. Damn it. Okay, there we go. So, as I was saying, we're gonna make the ovens. I'll just put this, like, right here. Let's put it somewhere so that I don't forget where it is. That clave ovens. You will need a quern before you can make use of a clave. Oh, it's referring to burning the stuff up, or grinding it up, I should say. Now this is why you need the hell hammer, because you need to automate this stuff. Like so. Anyway, continue working on the ovens here. Now what I want is a total of four ovens. That way I can produce like 16 bread at a time. 
Oh, I can just do this. Duplicate layer. By doing it through this angle, I can just do this clay forming while watching the Hell of Hammer. Man, this is nice. This now. Oh, keep this going. out of clay in this stack here. Wait, does it take in, like an entire stack just to make like, one oven? No, it Like, it's more than one stack. Okay. I mean, I knew that going in, but I just didn't realize that it just took so much. Probably gonna have to get more clay. Okay, there we go. And for some reason, you don't need to, like, fire up the big... The oven, I should say. You don't need to pirate it up at all. Oh, come. The fuck? It's like the moment I fired it up, I somehow grabbed the thing. It's so weird. Oh, well, anyway. Get another one started. Like, I can finish the roof on the windmill towers later on. I just want to get these uh, things processed. It's not even hot enough yet. I'm not liking how cramped this space is. Like, yeah, there's enough room to work, but... Not enough room to put my stuff in. Enough room to move around, so probably gonna have to revise that for the next playthrough. Also, fire this up. One of the disadvantages of the Hellhammer is that the 
black voxels there, it's like the help hammer cannot take out like more than one at a time like you can when you do it manually. But obviously the advantages weighs that disadvantages because it doesn't take up any durability if you use the hell the hell hammer and you're doing it automatically, so pretty much nullifies that. Anyway, keep this going. So for the Resonance Archives, I don't think I'm gonna go down there with like chain armor. Like any kind of metal armor. Because not only does it just take so long to make, it's also going to prevent like the accuracy of my spears to be like really good and I need that accuracy because I noticed that when I was using the wood laminel armor like it was messing with the accuracy of the spear so I want to try to avoid that. Here's two ovens. It does take a while to make these. Even though it's fairly straightforward to make, like, just fill in, in these voxels is just such a hassle. Okay, that ingot is almost done. Get another going. Maybe I only need three forges after all. I'm also thinking of getting some more like storage vessels. I'm also going to bring one storage vessel over to the resonance archives just so I can build an outpost with a cellar in it and have some food storage there. Be like a one by one cellar. Like I'm not going to make a big house. Like it's just going to be like this tiny outpost with some basic amenities. Okay, that ingot is almost done. Gotta keep this stuff going. 